Now on BBC One, time for the news where you are. Bye for now. Hello, good evening. Allotment holders in Huddersfield who fought to try and save their plots from being bulldozed, so they've now been locked out. Kirklees Council want to build a primary school on the land. It's the latest development in a dispute that's been going on now for two years. Sabia Pavez reports. For 80 years, this land has been turned and cultivated by local gardeners. Next, three people from Keithley are still being questioned on suspicion of terrorism offences. Two men and a woman were arrested yesterday after an investigation into right-wing terrorism. Residents have now been allowed to return home after some properties were evacuated to allow the bomb squad to examine potentially suspicious material. In sport, Leeds Olympic medalist Jack Law has won Britain's second gold at the Diving World Cup in Tokyo. Here it is. This was the winning dive with his partner Dan Goodfellow in the synchronised three-metre springboard final. Lois Toulson, also from Leeds, finished second in the 10-metre platform event with her partner Eden Cheng. Next, a proposal to build houses on land in Bronte country has sparked criticism from around the world. The site is in the village of Thornton near Bradford, where the famous writers Charlotte, Emily, Anne and Branwell were born. A campaign has now been mounted, though, to oppose the plans. Cathy Killick reports. More than 200 years since their birth here in the village of Thornton, the Brontes still exert a powerful pull for thousands of literature lovers around the globe. Cathy Killick, BBC Look North. Well, that certainly is stunning countryside. Here's Cat now with the weather. Hello there, lengthy clear spells out there tonight for a time. Showers will clear away, then a more cloud will start to bubble in through the early hours with that cloud one or two showers with temperatures at around three or four degrees. Oh dear, do stay dry, whatever you do. We'll be back at 20 past 10. Good night.